of the two sides. Respects for the Premier League side, but they've not been overrun by the opposition. But for themselves, will attest to the fact that they've had difficulty in the past. Gambut gave them a good run for their money last season, and even Nani FC beat them in the final. And I feel that for uh, Ekofi and His Excellency John Kufour will be the chaps to look out for in terms of marshalling forces in defence for Kumasi Asante Kotoko, waiting for the ball. The Alfred Cole goes past one, sends up the pass, good tackle coming in. Amitayos and the Terms and conditions apply. Let's see what conditions will apply to this free kick to Kumasi Asante Kotoko. It's a three man wall formed by Amidal's professionals. Cross goes in and uh, nearly in there again. Timely header out by Amidal. So, really, Amidal's have not scored too many goals uh, during regulation time. They've only scored four in regulation time out of uh, three matches. As for Kumasi Asante Kotoko, they entered the competition in the round of at the round of 64 stage and uh, they welcome Swala United to the Babaira Sports Stadium and they beat them by a thumping four goals to nil and then uh, for qualification into the round of 32 where they met Giants of the West second D Hazakes and uh, Amidao's professionals won Kumasi Asante Kotoko nil and in, in his attempt to clear the ball John Kufo's clearance ended up in his uh, own net. He's apologized to the uh, technical bench and to the fans as well as to his colleagues. I'm sure there was a breakdown. He should have collected a yellow card. Referee seems to be telling the referee. I think strong play and I think it was the player who just bumped into him. Uh, the two of them complaining because he's the captain of uh, Amidala's professionals. Doing a good job to really calm him down. Football is all fun. It's competitive though. Understandable how um, and why. Chance coming over Kumasa This should be the goal. Goalkeeper does well, but can he recover? Good defensive work by Ayiri. My word. And Albert, look at Jelt who did so very well. Ayiri came to the rescue. Well, Ope should have buried that chance. It was a very good pass from midfield. Ametri was in an offside position and he didn't attempt to run for the ball at all. He allowed Ope to run. Well, Ayiri came to the rescue. Well, Ope should have buried that chance. It was a very good pass from midfield. Ametri was in an offside position and he didn't attempt to run for the ball at all. He allowed Ope to run from deep. But it was a team effort from me. But I won't, I won't take too much of credit from the good pass. Well, he did well to stay calm in his post. And eventually, that last bit tackle also from the captain on Ametri was... Probably I agree with you. Amidao's pants down, particularly robbing the ball from deep midfield. Or oftentimes they set the offside trap and offside trap and one person runs from deep. And on that occasion, when the ball got over the head of um, entry for him, is timing the. In a big cup round of 16 action from the Tema Sports Stadium involving Amidao's professionals and Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Amidao's professionals in the right, they are defending gallantly and they're leading by one goal to nil. Tawo's long pass is a run for it. This time around, Amitri couldn't get to the ball early. But for those who saw Amitri really in action in the first round, superb player he was, getting goals at random, sometimes out of nothing. Expect Amitri to get the goods out. And a strong challenge from Victor Ayiri. And Ayiri passing the test so far in this game. Frimpong goes past two players. But then a bit too much. Ball taken away from him. And Fatah will fit the pass to the far side. Gideon Bahn. Towards the path of David Ofei. Quick reaction again from Eric Ofurin to the goalkeeper. That was a routine ball for the goalkeeper to take. Kotoko, I must say that Struggling in the um, first 15 minutes of the game, after conceding, they seem to be finding their men passing really well. It is left with putting an end product to all that hard work that is missing from their game. And over three goals to two.
Victor uh, challenge coming from Victor Ayere. And Tomasa Sante Kotoko have won a corner kick. And that was some good in interchange of pass in between Akufu and Yav from Paul. Telepathic play from them, but solid work from Ayere reading the danger. The bench. Michael Anaba. A long pass trying to find Fatal. Well read. This is Adongo. Two minutes of time added on we have here at the Tema Sports Stadium. It's Amidas Professionals 1. Kumasi Asante Kotoko nil. Sports Stadium and action is done on the club this season. Away we go for the second half of this match. And let's see if Kumasa Sante Kotoko can bounce to uh, glory. Long ball sent into the half of Amidara's professionals. They are sporting the all white outfit and they are playing from left to right. As Attempting to get um, Ametru run onto the ball is is there a question of Ametru not being on the same wavelength with him or the weight of the the weight behind that particular pass was a bit heavy. I think it, it, it has to do with the weight of the ball being heavy and not really reading the intentions of Ametru well. A run on the far side for the ball. Well, he got the best. They get into the half of their opponents. Just a few touches. Neat flicks. And Kumasi Asante Kotoko moving forward. The Porcupine Warriors are on the rampage. There they go. The pass comes through. And again, it's the last telling pass. That is always faulty. Victor Ayiri was standing tall on that occasion. And he comes over to a particular game. But then at the opposite end, you would ask yourself, Ose Kofi um, has come up. You say Ose Kofi has come up worse in the challenge uh, between himself and Selassie, consistently beating him in the 50-50 challenges or in the aerial battles. And even when he, he does win it, he doesn't do so in the most convincing of fashion. And uh, The winner over Sporting Mirren will be meeting the winner of New Edubiasi versus Lions. And so it's going to be a tall order for the Division 1 side, Dunbord FC. Eventual clearance. Referee has waved play on, so I guess John Kupo is exonerated. Ahmed Touri sends in the lob. A foot in there, but again, Victor Aire. And Albert, I couldn't agree with you more. Victor Aire is gunning for the man of the match award. Well, he's done. Thanks. Does it mean that uh, because it's a done deal, the league is over? So probably the steam has been taken off Kumasi Asante Kotoko. The impetus to move and fight for glory is no longer there. Well, I, I think that is a question of those players missing. Been left off the hook. Well, they've been left off the hook. Uh, Selassie, I mean, he got in front of um, Kukwa to see the ball. I hope Kukwa lobbed forward. And the control was poor from an Thousand. It should be clear to any defender that a good player is coming out to grab the ball. For two of goals scored here, I think it's been, it should have been routine balls for the Asante Kotoko 